Look across the universe and you will see that almost everything is rotating. The earth rotates on its axis as it orbits the sun and the sun itself is rotating. As you can probably guess, we even have a galaxy rotation with our Milky Way galaxy. Today we will discuss with you on the topic why do galaxies rotate. Welcome back to Signature's Life and you are watching Signature's Science. It is said that everything spins in the universe, from galaxies to stars to planets. But why do galaxies rotate? In the early stages of the universe, clouds of gas came together to form the stars. These stars were then gravitationally attracted to each other to create gigantic clusters of stars and shrouded in clouds of gas. Eventually, these groupings of stars come together through the attraction of gravity and together they start to spin around a common center of mass. Picking up speed, the rotation squashes the clusters of stars flat, forming a disk with a bulge at the center. This spinning of galaxies continues even after their formation. Our Milky Way galaxy is one of these spinning structures and its entire disk of stars, gas and dust is rotating at around 168 miles per second. Due to our galaxy's rotation, our solar system appears to orbit the galaxy every 225 million years. The last time we were in the same place in our orbit, dinosaurs were just starting to appear on the Earth. All galaxies spin whatever their type or size, and a study astronomers announced the discovery that all disk galaxies rotate about once every billion years, no matter their size or mass. Our galaxy is rotating incredibly slowly, however, it takes the Sun 220 million years to complete a single orbit around the galaxy. In the 4.6 billion years that the Sun and planets have been here, they have only rotated around the center of galaxy about 20 times. We know that galaxy rotation is happening because the Milky Way is a flattened disk. In the same way that the solar system is a flattened disk, the centrifugal force from the rotation flattens of the galactic disk. All stars in the galactic disk follow roughly circular orbits around the center of the galaxy. Stars in the halo can have much different orbits and speeds. The calculation of the high rotational speed of the galaxy led to the discovery of dark matter. If our galaxy contained just a matter we can see, planets, gas, the galaxy rotation should cause it to spin apart. Instead, there is much more mass holding the galaxy together. In fact, astronomers have calculated that the total mass of the galaxy is probably 10 times greater than the sum of all the stars in it. 90% of this is invisible dark matter, holding the galaxy rotation together, and only 10% is the regular matter that we can see. Our galaxy really has a mass of more than 1 trillion suns, and extends out more than 600,000 light years, a third of the distance to the nearby Andromeda galaxy. All the galaxies we can see are rotating. It's the rotational force that counteracts the inward pull of gravity from all the galaxies. If galaxies didn't rotate, they would collapse inward and just join the supermassive black holes at the hearts of the galaxies. <laughs> 